This book should be read almost as though it were science fiction. It is designed to appeal to the imagination, but it is not science fiction. It is science, cliche or not. Stranger than fiction expresses exactly how I feel about the truth. Darwin provides a solution, the only feasible one so far suggested, to the deep problem of our existence. Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection is satisfying because it shows us a way in which simplicity could change into complexity. How unordered atoms could group themselves into ever more complex patterns until they ended up manufacturing people. Survival of the fittest is really a special case of a more general law of survival of the stable. The universe is populated by stable things. A stable thing is a collection of atoms that is permanent enough or common enough to deserve a name. It may be a unique collection of atoms, or it may be a class of entities such as raindrops, even if any one of them is short-lived. The things that we see around us, and which we think of as needing explanation, rocks, galaxies, ocean waves, are all, to a greater or lesser extent, stable patterns of atoms. Other, even more complex atoms, are being formed in stars all over the universe. This is originally where the elements on our world came from. At some point, a particularly remarkable molecule was formed by accident. It had the extraordinary property of being able to create copies of itself. We will call it the replicator. Replicators began to construct for themselves containers, vehicles for their continued existence. They built survival machines. The replicators that survived, they got bigger and more elaborate, and the process was cumulative and progressive. What weird engines of self-preservation would the millennia bring forth? What was to be the fate of the ancient replicators? They did not die out, for they are past masters of the survival arts. But do not look for them floating loose in the sea. They gave up that cavalier freedom long ago. Now they swarm in huge colonies, safe inside gigantic lumbering robots, sealed off from the outside world. Manipulating it by remote control, they are in you and in me. They created us, body and mind. They have come a long way, those replicators. Now they go by the name of genes, and we are their survival machines. This is a truth which still fills me with astonishment. Though I have known it for years, I never seem to get fully used to it. One of my hopes is that I may have some success in astonishing others.